Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today is a very exciting how-to. I wanted to give you a run-through of everything you need to know about the Sailor Moon Eternal movies. So I have my laptop with me as well as some notes so I can basically give you an entire run-through of everything you need to know to be prepared for June 3rd, which is when the movies come out internationally on Netflix. So if you just happen to search Sailor Moon because you saw it pop up on Netflix and you were not aware that Sailor Moon has been around as Crystal, which is a newer version, a reboot of the anime since 2014, then this video is for you. So don't forget to subscribe if you are into everything Sailor Moon because that is all I talk about on this YouTube channel. So first things first, there may be some spoilers in this video because I am going to be talking about the movies. So if you have not seen the original 1990s anime or you have not read the entirety of the manga, then you may want to skip this video because I will be spoiling some of the plot information from the movie. But if you have already read the manga or if you have seen the 1990s anime, then you're totally prepared and you already know what's going to happen, so you're fine. So I am going to be doing a little bit of hypothesizing in this video because we don't have every single fact about the movies yet. For example, there's a lot of information that Netflix does not show you on the movie page. So I am doing a little bit of educated guesswork and some Google foo based on personal and past experience with Netflix premieres and releases. But I will let you know ahead of time what we do know and what we currently do not know for sure. So first off to understand WTF is going on with this Sailor Moon movie and this popped up out of nowhere. Uh, it actually actually didn't. We have known that this has been happening for a couple of years in the Sailor Moon fandom, but I did want to give you some information as far as where this falls in the Sailor Moon timeline so you can understand where you need to come in to understand where this movie is happening. So first we have the original manga, and then that's been reprinted many times. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a manga comparison between all the different versions. I have almost every single different version. And then we have the 1990s version of the anime, which was based off of the manga and a few of the short stories that were originally created by Naoko Takeuchi. And then we also have three different movies that were released in the 1990s, and those were re-released a couple of years ago with brand new dubs for English as well as some other languages. Those three movies, as far as the plot, were separate from the TV anime. However, they did fall into the timeline pretty well when you compare them with the original 1990s anime. Interestingly enough, only one of the original movies was actually based off a story in the manga. So that was all the 1990s goodies. And then we have Sailor Moon Crystal. So Sailor Moon Crystal was basically a reboot of the anime that started in 2014, which ironically was the same year that I got married. It was a really Really good year, I do have to say. So this version of the anime is actually a lot more closely adapted to the manga than the original 1990s version. So Sailor Moon Crystal, which was released in 2014, has three different seasons that have come out in Japan as well as internationally via streaming as well as Blu-ray and DVD. So season one is Queen Barrel, that's the Dark Kingdom, that's when you find out about Usagi's secret identity and you find out about all of the inner Sailor Sen that's also when we have the four generals. Season two heavily features Chibiusa. That is during the Black Moon Clan. It's also when we have Prince Demand. Uh, Chibiusa turns into Black Lady. We have the four Ayakashi sisters. So then you have my favorite season, which is the Infinity Arc based on the manga, and that is when you have the Deathbusters. You have Witches 5, you have Dr. Tomoe, you have Hotaru, Mistress 9. She turns into Mistress 9. It's awesome. Such a great story. So that's obviously my favorite. And then we have Sailor Moon Eternal, the movies, part one and two, which could basically be seen as Sailor Moon Crystal season four. So these pair of movies is based off the manga's dream arc. So this is when you have Helios and the Golden Crystal and Pegasus. Queen Nehelenia is featured in this one as the big baddie villain. And then you also have the Amazon Trio and the Amazonist Quartet, which are so cute. So this is the Dead Moon Circus 
season. There is also this additional arc, it's Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, which we don't currently have any factual information that says that they will be continuing on to another pair of movies or maybe Sailor Moon Crystal Season 5 for Sailor Stars. We don't know if that's going to happen yet. Currently the only versions of stars we have are in the manga. I keep on pointing back here because my mangas are all sitting back here. And we also have the 1990s anime which also had Sailor Stars. And this is just a little bit of a side note which I was thinking about because I recently watched the 1990s anime version of Sailor Moon Stars. But at the very beginning of Sailor Stars you have the continuation of Queen Nehalania's uh, final episodes for the entire series. And it's interesting because Sailor Moon Eternal, the movies, are going to encompass the entirety of Nehalania's storyline, her plotline. So I don't think that we're going to see her at all. If they did continue to Sailor Moon Stars, I don't think we're going to see Nehalania at all in Sailor Moon Stars. Or Sailor Moon Crystals, Sailor Stars. I don't know. What, how would they name it if they did end up continuing the Sailor Moon Crystal series? So this brings us to some specifications about the movie. So Sailor Moon Eternal is actually two separate parts. There are two movies that are being released at the same exact time. The second part is a continuation of the first part. So a great way to look at this is if you remember The Hobbit, which came out in three different parts, it was a continuation of the same story into three different movies. That's what this is. Sailor Moon Eternal is going to be two parts, which is a continuation from part one straight into part two. So the movies in total is 160 minutes, or two hours and 40 minutes. So it's almost three hours if you choose to watch these side by side. Part one is 80 minutes all by itself, and part two is 80 minutes all by itself. So again, this is not a continuation after stars. It's not a continuation of the 90s anime or anything like that. This is basically a reboot of the same story that we have already seen as supers in the original 1990s anime and the dream arc, which is in the manga. Also, another fun fact, this is the first Sailor Moon movie that's brand new to us that we have seen in 26 years in case that makes you feel really old because when I saw that math it made me feel very old. So if you have not read the manga yet or if you have not watched Sailor Moon 1990s anime or if you haven't watched Sailor Moon Crystal at all, you do still have a little bit of time to catch up before the movies release on June 3rd. However, you could always watch them after June 3rd, but I'm probably going to stay up late just so I can see the movies. Let's be honest. So if you haven't read the manga yet, or maybe you haven't caught up with Sailor Moon Crystal, or you haven't seen it at all, you do still have a little bit of time before June 3rd, before the movies come out, so you can still catch up if you want a refresher. Crystal, I will say, is a lot shorter. It's a lot faster to get through because the plot line moves a lot quicker than the 1990s anime. So you can easily get through seasons one through three in one day if you don't sleep. But chances are you would like to get through it in like two to three days if you really want to invest time in it. Otherwise, give yourself at least a week. Crystal is currently available through streaming platforms like it's on Crunchyroll, Hulu, it's on Amazon Prime. You do have to purchase through any of those or have a membership. It's also available on DVD as well as Blu-ray. So you may have luck finding it in a big box store. However, chances are you would want to go the streaming route. So the movies already debuted in theaters in Japan back in January and February of this year and they got a whole bunch of really cute merch and I'm hoping to get some of it from the theaters. We'll see if it happens. Internationally, unfortunately, we do not get some worldwide theatrical release, even though that would be amazing, but we do get it on Netflix. So if you already searched for Sailor Moon on Netflix, you would have seen Sailor Moon Eternal show up if it is available in your originating country. There will only be one title for Sailor Moon Eternal Part 1 and 2, so I believe that when you hit Reminder and when it shows up on your list, it's only going to show up under one title and then you will have part one and part two to choose from. So kind of like how Netflix does their TV series, you click into one title and then you have all the different seasons that you can choose from. All right, so Sailor Moon Eternal. Since it is two movies, both of those are going to release on the same day, on June 3rd, and I did a quick Google foo about Netflix to find out what time they usually premiere movies since June 3rd is 24 hours long. So with Netflix, they typically release new exclusives at 12.01 a.m. Pacific time, 
which is 3.01 a.m. Eastern time, so middle of the night for us. Yay. So if you have a day job like I do, I'm a full-time YouTuber, I try to only work between like nine to five, then you will likely see these movies already ready to go if you're in the U.S. and you wake up in the morning for your day job. So if you are international, the same kind of rule is going to apply. However, you will have to do your own math. I am not going to do it for you. So as far as I can tell from the Netflix website, since both of these movies are releasing at the same time and they're under the same title, we will likely see part one and part two show up at the exact same time. So technically you could watch part two before you watch part one, which you do you boo, I don't care what you do, um, YOLO. I'm gonna watch part one and then part two. Although I am still debating if I stay up late or if I just get up like hella early on Thursday, I will probably just get up hella early on Thursday and watch them like super early in the morning before my husband wakes up. And then that way I can share my reactions with you. I'll do a couple of like review slash reaction videos. It'll be super fun. We know that the movie is being released in several different countries, but if you aren't sure about where it's going to be releasing, just check Netflix. There should be a listing already if it's available in your country of origin. As for the languages, we're not completely sure how many different languages it's going to be available in as a dub or a subtitle, but we do know based on the trailer and based on some social media postings from different fans that this will be available in Spanish, French, German, English, and Japanese at least. In fact, Netflix anime has a trailer on their YouTube channel which you can watch and it does have each of those languages in it. So I intend to watch it in both the English version as well as the Japanese Japanese version just so I can compare them side by side. So the big question is, if you don't have Netflix, how are you going to watch it? So obviously this movie is exclusively premiering on Netflix, so you do have to have a Netflix account to be able to watch it. Alternatively, if you have a nice friend or family member, they may let you use their account to watch it. You can have multiple profiles on a Netflix account, so there's always an option there as well. So I am not a fan of pirating entertainment, especially because technically YouTube is a entertainment career, so it's not something that I really fall in line with because I like it when entertainers get paid. So I definitely recommend finding a legal route in order to watch the movies. Now we currently do not have any news about the movies coming out to any other streaming platforms and we also do not have any announcement currently at time of recording about a Blu-ray or DVD release of these movies internationally. However, you can buy the ones from Japan if you want to, but those are going to release a little bit after the movies release on Netflix. Now the last thing I wanted to mention is if Netflix is not available in your country, or if Netflix is available but they aren't streaming Sailor Moon on your country's accounts, you do have the option of using a VPN. When you use a VPN, usually you do have to purchase an account with a VPN. I never recommend free VPNs because these usually track you in some way and I recommend using something that's a little bit more private whenever I'm using an online software or a mobile app as well. So, so using a paid VPN service that allows you to reroute your internet connection through a different country is an alternative and that would allow you to log into a different country's Netflix and be able to watch it that way. Netflix is a little prone to blocking some VPNs, but one I have found that does work is ExpressVPN. So I do have a link that gives you a coupon code if you want to use ExpressVPN to watch the movie, but that's only if it's not available in your country of origin. So I think that is everything for Sailor Moon Eternal Part 1 and 2. Pretty much everything that you need to know to be prepared for Thursday. I hope that this basic overview was helpful, and if it was, definitely subscribe and don't forget to like and comment and share this video with anybody you think who might find some use out of it. I have a Sailor Senshi News Network video which is premiering on the channel either today or tomorrow. And also I did want to announce this as well. I'm probably going to talk about this like a million times before Thursday but I'm so excited about it. I am joining Sailor Tortilla, Ochiba Wolf, and Sailor Hime, all of which are Sailor Moon YouTubers, to do a whole watch party all together. It's a collaboration and we are going to be streaming live all together on Sailor Tortilla's YouTube channel 
which I will put her card up here. I will also put a link down below in the description so you can easily find and subscribe to her YouTube channel. We will be doing a watch party for both of the Sailor Moon movies. It's gonna be at least three hours long since the movies are so long. And you can watch the movies with us. So that is June 3rd, 7 p.m. Eastern, which is about 5 p.m. Mountain Time here in Denver, I believe. You can grab some popcorn, log into your own Netflix account and stream the movie alongside us. We're also going to be doing some giveaways which are provided by Anime Osaka and Sailor Hime. She set the whole thing up so I'm super excited about that as well. So if you want to enter into some giveaways, definitely check out Sailor Tortilla's YouTube channel and make sure to watch our watch party on Thursday, June 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern. I think that's it. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you quite a few times this week. So definitely keep an eye on the YouTube channel because there's a lot happening that's kind of coinciding with the movies. <laughs> it's so, so exciting. This is so cool. This is like the biggest thing to happen in Sailor Moon for years. So it's a big deal. All right, I will see you next time. Johnny.